Theorem number 7.1. We are given that in triangle ABC, angle B is a right angle and line segment BD is given to be an altitude. So, two different triangles are being formed. So, if an altitude is drawn on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, then the two triangles so formed in this particular different closed semi-planes of that altitude are similar to the original triangle that is ABC and also they are similar to each other. If I try to put it up in a mathematical way, then that means triangle, that means ADB corresponds to ABC will be a similarity. Same way BDC corresponds to ABC will also be a similarity and therefore ADB corresponds to BDC will also be a similarity. We don't need to prove this theorem. We will remember this theorem as it is without proof. But we have a corollary based on theorem number 7.1 that if an altitude is drawn on the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle, then the length of the altitude is geometric mean of the length of the segments of the hypotenuse formed by the altitude and also length of each side other than the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the length of the hypotenuse and segment of the hypotenuse adjacent to the side. Supposing in triangle ABC, angle A is going to be right angle and line segment AD is going to be an altitude. Now, first of all, let us try to understand that what is the meaning of the word adjacent line segments. Because line segment AD is drawn as an altitude on hypotenuse line segment BC, so line segment BD is adjacent to line segment AB. Whereas the same way line segment CD will be adjacent to line segment AC. So, this is what we understand by the word adjacent line segment. So, in triangle ABC, measure angle A is going to be 90 degree, line segment AD is an altitude. So, we need to show that AD square, that is the altitude square, is equal to a multiplication of the, both the sides, that is BD into CD. AB square will be equal to its adjacent side BD into whole diagonal, whole hypotenuse BC. And AC square will be equal to CD into BC. So, let us see. We will be making use of theorem number 7.1. So, according to theorem number 7.1, we know that ADB corresponds to CDA would be similarity. And because of that particular reason, I can write on the ratio AD upon CD is equal to DB upon AD. Taking cross multiplication, AD square is equal to BD into DC. Same way, we know that for triangle ADB and triangle ABC, that ADB corresponds to CB, CAB is a similarity. And therefore, once again writing down the ratio, AB upon BC is equal to BD upon AB. Taking cross multiplication, AB square is equal to BD into BC. And the last result also for triangle ADC and triangle ABC, that ADC corresponds to ABC is a similarity. Writing down the ratio once again, AC upon BC is equal to DC upon AC because those triangles are similar triangles. And so cross multiplication would give us AC square is equal to DC into BC. So we need to remember these results so that we can solve some of the numericals based on this. Not only numericals, theorem number 7.2 which is Pythagoras theorem is also proved by using the same result. Now, according to Pythagoras theorem, the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is the sum of the squares of the length of the other two sides. So, for example, in triangle ABC, line segment AC, measure angle A is right angle. In order to prove this theorem, we need an altitude, line segment AD. So, in the given part, angle A is going to be right angle of triangle ABC and we need to prove that AB square plus AC square is equal to BC square. As I told you, we require the altitude that is line segment AD perpendicular line segment BC. So, D belongs to line segment BC. Here angle A is given to be right angle and because of that reason angle B and angle C would be acute angles. B dash D dash C that is what we will be getting at over here. And therefore, BD plus DC is going to be BC. Applying the corollary of theorem number 7.1, we can always write down that AB square is nothing but BD into BC. And AC square is nothing but CD into BC. Adding up both of, the, both of them, AB square plus AC square, that is BD into BC plus DC into BC. Now you can see that BC is common from both of them. And that gives us 
BD plus DC into BC. But according to number 1, we know that BD plus DC is nothing but BC. So BC into BC and that is BC square. So AB square plus AC square is equal to BC square. Theorem number 7.3 is the converse of theorem number 7.2 that is converse of Pythagoras theorem. In triangle, if the square of the length of the side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side will be a right angle. That means putting up mathematically BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square if that is given. Then angle A that is the side opposite to line 7 BC is a right angle. So, in triangle ABC, measure angle A is given to be 90 degrees. No, no, it is given that BC square plus A is equal to AB square plus AC square. I need to prove that angle A is a right angle. In order to prove this, first of all, we will have to draw certain things. That is, let ray OX be any ray. And we can always construct ray OY, which is perpendicular to ray OX. So, Angle A, O would be right angle. Let M be on point, on ray O, Y, so that O, M should be equal to A, C. And N be point on ray O, X, so that O, N will be same as that of A, B. That means A, C is same as O, M and A, B is same as O, N. So, we require to draw line segment M, N. Now, what we get, that in triangle OMN, angle O would be obviously right angle. So, that is OM is perpendicular to ON. And that means triangle MON is what type of right angle? That is a right angle triangle. And if it is a right angle triangle, then if an angle O is right angle, then line segment MN should be the hypotenuse. Because line segment MN is hypotenuse and angle O is right angle, we can always use Pythagoras theorem. So MN square is equal to OM square plus ON square. But we know that OM square is same as AC square and ON square is same as AB square. But we know that AC square plus AB square is nothing but BC square. So MN square is same as equal to BC square. So I proved that MN will be equal to that of BC. That means MN is equal to BC. Now let us prove that these two triangles are congruent triangles. So in this triangle ABC and triangle ONM, let us consider the correspondence ABC to ONM. And that gives us line segment AB congruent to line segment ON. We constructed it that way. Then line segment AC congruent to line segment OM. We constructed it that way. And we proved that line segment BC is congruent to line segment M. And we have already proved that. And because of that particular condition, ABC corresponds to ONM will be a congruence by SSS. So that means triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ONM. That means measure angle O should be same as measure angle A. But we know that angle O is a right angle. And therefore, angle A is also a right angle. So that is converse of Pythagoras theorem. We need to remember one of the important results that is known as Apollonius theorem. And we can make use of this Apollonius theorem directly in the numericals. In triangle ABC, supposing line segment AD is given to be a median. That means point D is the midpoint of line segment BC. That means line segment AD is a median of triangle ABC. Then the result is AB square plus AC square. That is AB square plus AC square is equal to twice of AD square plus either you write down BD square or you can write down CD square also. That remains the same thing. We need to remember this result directly. 